In this video, we're going to explore the grid lines. And this is one of the things that has changed in Chart.js version 3.x compared to Chart.js version 2. So let's look at the grid lines configurations because if you've seen before, in my previous video, I was talking about the scales. And if we go here, you can see the scales for the options has changed in here. Then we have the scales and then we pinpoint the Y or the X scale by putting in the Y or X, which makes more sense because it's far more practical like that. So the same happens with the grid lines because they have adjusted the term in, instead of grid lines, they now move to grid. So let's look at this. So if you go here to the grid configurations, you can see here the option they are doing it now is here in the scales and then you have the grid and then we can indicate whatever we want. to. However, this sounds very complicated here with all these options. Let's do some basics here. So imagine here in our case, we want to remove the grid lines from the X axis, meaning that these lines here connected to the X axis will be gone, which is the X line here. And these all going up will be disappearing. So how do we do this? Well, we are in the scales. So we are in the right location and then in here, well, first of all, well, this is a comma, that's fine. But then here we are going to put another comma. And here we will indicate the following. Because the comma is essential here, this code basically be deleted. Because if you will see like this, eventually, no, well, let me just move this down here. All right, it looks better. Eventually not necessary because there is no continuation or no other item. All right. So if you, oh, but in our case, we want to remove the X lines. Yes, so in this case, we will have to put in the X here. So this is an essential. And then in here, we will say the following. We say here, grid, uh, column, and then in here, over brackets, and then in here, we can indicate what we want. Let's say we want to say color. Um, we'll make it green. That will be fine. And let's save this. So once we are here, and then we refresh, you see now the grid line starts to become green and it's only specifically the x axis connected so basically only the x axis that are connected here that are going green including the one here which is the y axis and the uh, or basically the y axis and the x axis line is connected here all right so if you want to remove this we will just say here display and then we say here we have to remove this one here and then we say here false. Remember that false is a boolean, true and false, so no quotations needed here. Save this, refresh, and now we remove all the lines that are connected here with the x-axis. So imagine if we want to remove them both, what can we do here? Well, basically in here we can do the following. We're just going to put in here a comma, indicating that we have something else, and then in here we can just say grid. And then here, curly brackets, display, and then false. Once we did this, save this, refresh here, and now it disappears completely. So we have removed the lines or the grid lines from the y axis and the x axis. So specifically, these here are still in here because these are not grid lines, these are on the scales itself. So this is how you can use this and this is how you can play around with it and then this is the new command just indicate here a y or an x in the scales and then you say here not grid lines but grid so if you like these kind of videos and like to learn more about chart.js check out my chart.js course you can find the link in the description box below and if you have any questions going to this put them in the comment section below and i'll make sure i'll get back to you